let's take a look at the ribbon itself and all the different tools. And we now have these different panels. They are slightly customizable. Uh, for example, if I have grids right here and I don't use them that often, I can simply hover my arrow over the word datum right there, which is the title of that panel, and drag it over to the end, for example. I can customize my toolbar that way. I cannot cust customize the particular tools within a panel, but I can definitely reorganize the tools the way that I would want them to be. If I want to actually use a panel um, continuously throughout my program, I could also do something that's similar to putting it in the quick access toolbar. I can take a panel and actually drag it down into my drawing area. That kind of dislodges it and puts it down into the drawing area. And as you can see, as I click through my different portions of my ribbon, uh, this piece will be available to me. Uh, this is a nice little tool that, again, if you're using one particular tool very often in a particular part of your, of your building, then you can pull it down and have it available to you at all times. If you pull down multiples, you can from different uh, areas, you can pull down, for example, another panel, and you can put this over here and just lock them right together. You move them around, and as you hover over them, you can shift them around and kind of play around with the different layout. So these are available to you, and whenever you want to put them back, hover over and click this little button up at the right top corner that says Return to Ribbon, and they will automatically pop back into place where they came from. So that really helps you customize the ribbon to a degree um, to suit your needs, your personal needs.